oh, I found this channel through uh, Bearings page. Oh, I've only just stopped laughing, right? Here we go, guys. Queer kid stuff. It's okay. To Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay, and this is my best friend, Teddy. Now, doesn't that make sense? A best friend's a toy. Doesn't that make sense? Today, we're going to talk about what LGBT stands for. Yay! Welcome to the first episode of our four-part series. <laughs> four part <laughs> Going to cover one letter each time. Breaking down the letters LGBT. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Oh. No fucking bear talks! It's a talking bear. <laughs> so. Okay, before we get started with the letters, I have to explain what LGBT is. I, I, honestly, I thought that was kind of the point of this whole video. I don't... LGBT is an acronym. What's an acronym? I'm just about to get to that. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Teddy. Let her get to it. An acronym is a word that stands for other words. You probably know a lot of acronyms and you didn't even realize. Like STFU. L-O-L is an acronym for laugh out loud. And is it? Really? Oh, fuck. I thought it was just for, uh, I thought it was lots of laughs. Oh, shit. I actually learned something. <laughs> who, who had money on that? And another one. FBI. Is an acronym for the f oh uh, uh female body inspector right yeah federal bureau of investigation those are complicated shut up teddy well that's exactly why we have acronyms teddy do you know any acronyms yes i know that laser l a s e r is an acronym it stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation Oh, yeah, but fucking Federal Bureau of Investigation's complicated, isn't it, Teddy? And, and while we're here, can we explain why Americans spell it with a Z, then? I think that's a real issue here, isn't it? Whoa, that's very impressive, Teddy. Thanks. Smug-ass little shit. Okay, now that you know what an acronym is, let's talk about what LGBT stands for. Oh, from what I've heard, they stand for absolutely nothing. Hooray! So G B T. I can't help but think that like there might have been a less fiddly way of doing that, but you know it's your show. Okay, so L is for lesbian. G is for gay. We already know what that word means. Yeah, damn right we do. B is for bisexual, and T is for trans or transgender. I definitely don't know what all of those mean. That's because you're a stupid, uneducated toy. Fucking Teddy. That's okay. We're going to talk about each of them over the next three episodes of Queer Kid Stuff. I, I, I can't help but think that three episodes might be a bit of a laboured way of saying it's, it's, it's gay people. But there are also a few different versions of this acronym you might see. You might see the letters in a different order, like... G L B T. Glubbed. I have never seen that. Glubbed. You might also find more letters like L G B T Q Q. Oh no no! We're gonna need another episode on the Q. Here we go. Where Q stands for queer or questioning. We already know what the word queer means. And you do not like questioning. You might also see L G B T Q plus. Oh, fuck me. Now you're getting maths involved. Fuck. Plus stands for letters that might be left out. This is the acronym you'll see me use most often. But there are also longer versions of the acronym. You're not getting a little bit ridiculous then. You said it's to represent the letters that have been left out, but I mean, you've already fucking used most of them, haven't you? You might see LGBTQ... I A, where the I stands for intersex and the A stands for asexual or ally. Oh fuck it, you guys love your allies, don't you? So much that you've given them space in your acronym. We won't be able to explain these words until season two of Queer Kid Stuff. Oh no, my heart just sank when you said that. I want it now. 
but if you want to learn more about them, you can always ask your grown-up, and we'll have them on the activity sheet you can download after the episode. There's an activity sheet! I'm getting me some activity sheet! That's so many letters and words, I don't know how you keep it straight. Uh, I don't know if that was actually intended to be a joke, but fuck it out, Teddy, you are savage, mate. I know it's a lot, but we're going to go through everything very slowly. But what's more important than the words and the meanings is understanding why we use the acronym in the first place. Because no one's got fucking time to use the actual words. LGBT is an umbrella term. No, oh, right. well, someone wants bad luck. That represents a community of people. Everyone who's included in the letters in these acronyms is a part of the same community. Which is just a really, really convoluted way of saying people who are not straight. So when you talk about the things that have to do with the LGBTQ plus community, you are- That's that fucking Google plus community you gotta look out for. Are including all of the people those letters and words represent. Am I under the umbrella, Lindsay? Of course you are, Teddy. Good. Cool. So the bear's gay! The bear is gay! It's a gay bear! Wow! Now we want to know what communities you're a part of. Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new videos every Wednesday. <laughs> I look forward to Wednesday so much now. Like, I'm waking up at six. Like, I'm skipping to what I... Oh, I love Wednesdays now. Anyway, thank you very much for that one, Queer Kid Stuff. Uh, it's always uh, nice to see that people are trying to fuck up children from a very, very young age instead of letting them just fuck themselves up when they're teenagers. Oh, that has made my hangover way better. Fuck it, Al. I've subscribed. <laughs> I've subscribed. Oh. oh, I need to take some painkillers.